I just gave these a quick spray with grey just to give them a base from which I can work. And now I'm going to be painting them with a brown burnt umber. Um, and this will be basically the underpainting uh, so that when I go to uh, weather it, I'll be able to scrape off uh, the top paint and expose uh, the brown below, which will act as um, as rust and try and get that effect. Now, once again, I'm just using an old brush. I don't want to use a good brush and uh, and spoil uh, an expensive watercolour brush. I didn't bother painting the bottom of it, uh, which I'm not going to see it. Uh, but I will paint the the inside, and we'll let that dry. So now the skips are are dry with their brown coat on, and I'm just going to start adding some yellow as a sort of final coat before I finish it off. And uh, while it's wet, I'm going to add a little bit of salt and see what kind of effect we can get uh, once this is finished. It's always good to try different effects and I think if I had sea salt, it would be even better. Just trying to make sure I get once again into all those little nooks and crannies and, you know, get some good coverage. And I haven't painted the bottom, but I will paint the inside. Just slap it in there. And even if you don't uh, cover everything up, uh, at least cover all the brown up, it will still show through as if it could be rust. And we'll just dab a little bit in there and then we'll set it aside to dry. Just make sure you get the edges done. So while these two are drying, uh, I'm going to paint this one a kind of light bluish colour because there were different colours at different times uh, used in this industry. And, you know, I'm using acrylic paints. It's easier. You know, just give it a wee drop of salt there. And you can just slap this on any old way, as long as you cover everything. Not too thick, um, you just want to make sure you get good coverage and uh, enough that when the salt dries, um, it will peel away basically and, and show the rust below. And then we finish it off some additional weathering. And we'll just try and finish this off. I don't want you to be watching paint dry. Um, that's kind of boring. That will just finish off with the blue. And then we'll throw a little bit of salt on it and leave it until it dries properly and then we can go back in. I'm just going to rub off the salt that's in here and as I say, I uh, probably should have used sea salt if I had it. I missed one side there.
And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have a wash of, of black. And you can always uh, wipe this off um, with a kitchen towel. You just want to give it a sort of stained look. As you can see, it will dry lighter than what it is, but just it will help with the effect. And they're definitely not the cleanest of objects that you'll find around a railway. Okay, we'll just let that dry off and then we'll get into the next step. So I've selected a couple of colours from my pastel set and scraped off some powder and now I'm using a fan type brush. We'll try this method and, and see how it works. So we just will pick up some brown and just stroke it over and it gives the desired effect. Difficult to hold this. Um, make sure that you get to see what's going on. And make sure we get the inside done. Let's move it around here. Just to stain it up. And what I'll also do is add in some green because you never know what's been in there. And once again, I'll do the same. And there's the finished product. Now what I'll do is I'll seal that and then I'll put it onto the, uh, the layout. I think it looks pretty used and warm. And throw some scrap in there and it'll look right at home on the, on the layout. So I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, and don't forget to give me the big thumbs up, ring the bell and subscribe if you care to. I really appreciate that. And uh, we'll catch you next time here at Partick Hill Station for another tip and trick or something else. Bye for now.